Hey guys, it's Persegan Reality here with the fourth episode of the Mario Power Ups tutorial series. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be setting up our sound effects. So when we pick up our item and when the, the pick up where power up wears off. So, um, for example, I have a little showcase here. When we pick up our mushroom, it'll play the sound effect. And when we stop and when it wears off, it will stop the sound effect, basically. Or we'll play the uh, other sound effect. So without further ado, we will get into setting up this. So I'm just going to move my project, testing project over there. So now we have my main project. The first thing we're going to want to do is enter in Mario project, create a new folder called sounds. And the sounds we're going to use are free, free downloads from a website right here. I'll leave this link in the description. So the sounds we're going to use is the pipe number one. That's for going down and getting bigger in pipe number two. And that's for him getting bigger, obviously. So you want to download those two sounds. You can pause the video here. And once you have those downloaded, you'll want to just move them into your Unreal project. And if you get this error message popping up, you can just click yes, and it will bring it in. So now we have our two sounds. Then I'm going to go to our pickups, our master pickup. And first of all, I'm just going to set a destroy timer here. So that after the pickup is finished, timeline's finished, it's destroyed. And also, when you hit the power up, we're going to hide the mesh and set, the, set it to no collision so we can't hit it again basically or no one else will be able to hit it and the reason we're doing that here is because if we destroy the actor hair it won't be able to run through hair and if we and because we didn't set it up in our character we won't be able to access the code if um we destroy it early so we could either move all this code not and these functions to our character and then we could destroy it right here as soon as we get interact with it and then we'll still have access to these functions we'll just need to make, create a chain make a new few new variables on the collision and if you want to go and try to do that it's not too difficult you just have to basically set up your collision in your character the same way as it's set up here but instead of colliding with your character you're going to want to check if the other actor is your you're going to cast to your master pickup and see if your other actor is a is a child of your master pickup and then you would run through all this all your code but for now we're just going to do this just, we're going to destroy the actor when everything is complete and when i get your pickup mesh and your collision we're going to set hidden in game our pickup mesh and we're gonna new hidden so that it hides the mesh and our collision is already hidden and and we're gonna set our collision enabled I have no collision on our collision mesh so that we can't run through this code anymore I want to set up no collision on our mesh so that we can't bump into the mesh itself either. Oops. That's the mesh's mesh hidden and the collision do no collision. 
So basically, this now this is allowing us to keep all of our code within our specifically within our pickup class. It will hide the mesh when we pick it up, and it will destroy it when it's when it's finished, so that we can actually have access to all our code. And the mesh is not there anymore. It's not you can't bump into it at all. It's not visibly visible and just there anymore. It's actually destroyed. So now we want to deal with our pickup sounds and our and our drop sounds that we have the first we have want to make sure okay we have them imported. Um I'm just gonna make a function. Power up effects. And in here we're I'll just create the inputs from the emitters. We're going to spawn emitter at location. And we're going to play sound at location. So this is going to spawn particle effects. And this is going to play the sound. So um, you want to plug in your particle effects here. Now let's name that particles and plug in our sound. So now we can run these into our function and we can use it for both our pickup and our drop sounds and effects. And the location is going to be our character reference. Get our mesh. Get world location. Now it's going to play the sound at the location of our mesh. And the emitter. Um, it all depends on how you want your power to look. If you want it to spawn on your on Mario himself, you you set the location. You get copy this and paste this. If you wanted it to spawn where the power up was, you'd use your pickup mesh, get world location, and you'd plug that in to your location instead. Um, you want to get the rotation. Maybe your particles have any specific rotation. Because they might look a little funny. You can just plug your rotation here. You can get the same thing here. And you can pick and choose between those, and you can also set sockets on your character or on your. If you have a skeletal mesh, you could set up a socket, and you just get socket location for your pickup mesh, so on. So now that we have this, anyways, now we have this this function created. We'll go back to our event graph. And I'm going to play the effects just before it starts the growth timeline. And the way we have this set up, we can use this for any of our effects. So power up and play from start. And we'll also want a couple variables. So rather than do this, I'm going to drag out particles and Remote, so I get a particle instantly, and it's going to pick up particle. and promote to a variable. Pick up sound, and now, for example, I'm just going to show you why I'm doing it this way. So now you have your mega mushroom, you have your pickup particle and your pickup sound. You can set the pickup sound or particle. We don't have them in here yet, but even if you wanted to get some particles, put them in. Now you're able to do that and it will build work. And you have your pickup sound. And if you want it on your shrink, you want to drag out here. Pickup effects. Pass that through. And we're going to want to duplicate. Uh, 
I'm just going to name these finished particle. You can name them power up finished particle or power up finished sound. Maybe it'll make a little more sense for you. I think this is good enough. And duplicate. So now that the reason I'm creating two of these is now we have our finished particle and finished sound in here that we can set per every single child that we, that we make, every single item that we make, every pickup. So we'll put our finished particle in here and our finished sound. And we can leave those blank inside there because we have them set there. Now we click play. Grow, we'll play the sound, and if you had any particle effects, you'd play that too. And I'm going to look into whatever just happened there. One second, that was weird. And I believe I figured it out already. Um, we took our power-ups and our shrink. For our mega mushroom and we plugged it into the play start i don't know if you did that but if you did you want to make sure it's in the reverse now everything should run properly there we go and there's no power up left in the ground because it gets destroyed after you shrink and while it's and so you don't nobody can interact with it again we set this so it can't be hit again. Um, that's going to be everything for this episode. If you found this video helpful and you want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorial uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments section below or join my Discord server using the link in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next episode.